Things is back, yeah, back. After yesterday's debacle of a dead hard drive, we have Linux Mint 19 Tara XSCE Beta. Okay, the beta, 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 beta. And I'm, I won't lie to you, I'm quite impressed because in the past, Linux Mint has just not worked for me whatsoever, it's either too slow or some things just didn't work. But I've been using this for a little while now, and it seems okay to be honest with you. So I installed a simple screen recorder, so we can do it for you. Yeah, super duper. And the first screen you get when you boot up and log in, obviously, to your installed system is this the Linux Mint, Mint welcome screen. Bloody, bloody, blah, bloody, bloody, blah, blah. Read it yourself. First steps. Okay, now this is the important stuff. They want you to do a, a snapshot before you start, okay? So if you're a new user, that's a really good idea. So if it breaks, you can go back to the last one, okay? Think of Windows sort of stuffy thing, but Linux has had it for a long, long time now, so it's not a big deal, okay? The second one I have is a driver manager. Now I skipped that one first and went straight to the update manager. For the simple reason, I thought that was more important than when that, once that was finished, I went to the driver manager, installed my NVIDIA drivers for this machine, and upsy daisy, we're done. Super. And this is what we ended up with. And it's quite a really nice machine to use, actually. See how quick it is. It's really, really quick. It's really nice. Oh, by the way, as I said to you before, from a couple of videos before, full install, real hardware, just in case you don't believe me, it's a file system. Okay. It's a one terabyte drive here. It's an old um, hybrid drive. It's about two years old. This is the one I'm going to try and kill next. Okay. Wonder how many years that will take me. So anyway, apart from that, going back into the next bit. 19 Tara. Usual XFCE for what we're doing now. Okay. So I've turned my notifications off. I'm using a simple screen recorder. That's my Ethernet. We have a computer thing so you can put it into presentation or power manager settings and there's our volume nice bit of pulse audio okay and I've also added this little one here just to see how we're going on my CPUs yes full install yeah I'm just gonna do that let me give you all that in there super and some of you will say oh why haven't you installed the add-on to make it work faster and harder for you well I don't really need to okay to be honest with you some of you might want to do it say me one not to into our menu. Okay. We won't do favourites. We won't do recently used because we've already been there. We go to all. Okay. Let's do them all about me. Accessibility, appearance and customization. <sighs> Backup tool. Already been there. See you later. Calculator. Did you see it's now calculator, not calculator. I like that. Compies. You can still use compies if you want to. Okay. It's entirely up to you. I really like compies personally. Oh, back in the day, back in the day. Okay, should I go back to all? No, I'll go to accessories. No, I won't. I'll go to graphics. By default, you get Gimpage, Pics, you've got Images, and Simple Scan, which is by default for most distros now, anyway. Under Internet, the Fox is your browser of choice, with Hex Chat as your IRC client, basically. Chunderbird and Transmission for downloading the stuff that is nice, not naughty stuff, okay? Under multimedia, a media player, what is it? Let's have a look. So a quick look for you. I'm gonna go to help and go about. It's X player. It's an offshoot of M player, isn't it? I can't remember now. Ooh, one of those things. I don't know. Back to multimedia. Your pulse stuff would have been there, okay. Rhythm box is your default player. <sighs> in XSE, really Clementine's the one to go for, boys. Simple screen recorder I installed via the installer. Okay, no big deal. It is not a snap, as far as I'm aware. I'll check later. You get VLC to play all your videos and films and whatever you want, and XF burn to burn stuff. Nice and easy. Now, this is the bit I do like about Linux Mint 19 Tara. 
is you get the full Libra office suite, not just bits of it. So we get the base. We get base, 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 and calc. Draw. Impress. Which I needed the other day when I was doing a presentation for school. Okay. And it weren't in um, my basic um, Agent A4. So I had to install it. That's a bit of a bum, aren't it? And Math and Writer. Fantastic. I'll open it up for you. Bear in mind, it's a full install on an SSHD, they call it. So that's not going to be super fast because I've half killed it already. Comes up all right. You will need to install some other fonts because they oh, are uh, limited. We'll just say limited. And there's lots of clicking down in this drive. I know that. Okay. Next, under settings, it's the usual, really. Desktop. Fine tune your desktop. So look, what can we fine tune? Okay, you can change our com computer manager, go to Compton, etc. etc. It's alright. I like it how it is. No big deal. So they've made it more um so you can change things more for yourself. Okay. Discs. Oh by default. Fantastic. Okay. So say you want to, I'll tell you what I do, I'm gonna plug in a drive while I'm here. Okay. While we're recording. I think this is the installation medium I used to install it anyway. There it goes. So say you want to write a image to a drive and etcher don't work for you and you don't want to use DD because you're too frightened and etc etc. Just use disks. That's exactly the same thing. Oh, and that will come up obviously because that's what's in it. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Latest. Thank you very much. And the system. Backup tool of course. Disk usage analyzer. Let's have a look. I'm not using nothing, am I? Nothing at all. Just installed it. It's fantastic. I don't mind it at all. This is actually the first Linux Mint distribution I've never had any problems with whatsoever. So you get a software manager and Synaptic. So you can take your choices. It's up to you. Right? I've also installed HTOP. HTOP does not come installed by default. Okay. Let's double click on it. We're doing nothing really, are we really? Oh, actually, we're doing a few things. But that simple screen crawler, but nothing too much. And the biggest thing here, if I just can't do that, can I? I'll make it nothing big for you. The biggest thing here is we don't have to have a swap file as, as big as your memory, okay? Because I've got 32 gig in here, and I don't want 32 gig of swap. Two gig is f massively enough for anything I want to do. Okay, fantastic. So, on impressions, a really, really good release, as far as I'm concerned, because before it's never worked for me. But this one just does the business, so far. I'm going to keep it on the drive for at least another month, and I'll tell you how we get along. Sneaky loser. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.